Are you ever so excited about something and you just keep refreshing your screens, hoping to get the latest news? Well, that was the case yesterday and today. So instead of sitting here and constantly refreshing Twitter to see whether or not Bhagavan Doc Antle will have to spend the rest of his time awaiting trial in jail or if he's going to get out on bond, I decided to do this big cap briefing. And yesterday, I had a similar situation where our federal bill, the Big Cat Public Safety Act, which would put an end to the horrible cub petting that is done by people like Doc Antle, that was coming up before a committee hearing. And so I was very anxious to hear what the result of that was. And thankfully, Deb sat there through the whole thing because I got distracted with stuff going on here at the sanctuary. Maybe it was good that I was distracted. But anyway, she sat through the whole thing and the very tedious, as she pointed out, voting. And we passed 25 to 17 in the House Committee. So the next step for that will be for the Big Cat Public Safety Act then to have leadership bring it to the floor for a vote. We know we have the votes there because we have 256 co-sponsors and 52 of those are Republicans. So it's a very bipartisan bill. And then once that's heard and voted on, like I said, I'm sure we'll get the vote because we've got the majority, then it goes over to the Senate for their consideration. And so that's where we will be focusing all of the rest of our attention for the rest of the year to get this passed so that we don't lose the tiger in the wild in the next few years, which is going to happen if we don't pass it this year. So I'm really excited about getting it passed. Thank you everybody who has been making the call of the wild every day, or at least every week, or at least every month, every single call, every email, every tweet, they all really count. Every time I go in to meet with any of these members or with their staff, they say that the Big Cat Public Safety Act gets more attention, more calls, more people like you supporting it than any of their other bills. So I find that really amazing. And I think it's all up to you guys because, or it's all owed to you guys because you want to protect tigers in the wild. And this is the very first step to doing that, ending the cub petting, facing out private ownership. But let's get back to the news. So not the news about Antle. I'm going to go back to Big Cat News. And the last one of these, I think, was done on the 11th. So let's scroll back in time, the Wayback Machine here in time. And I'm not going to go to another page. So June 12th, claws are out after wedding photos of a ring-bearing tiger cub. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, Four Paws is investigating those morons. In Gandia, speeding train knocks tiger dead on Gandia Balarshar section. <sighs> Gregat, how doctor saved a lion from going blind. Well, there's an upbeat story. Kakinda tiger scare, auto driver and passengers get close sight of a big cat. A streak of tigers, that's what they call a group of tigers. A streak of tigers spotted crossing a forest road any of these at bigcatrescue.org slash news. You just click on the picture or the headline and it'll take you to the full story. Big Cats Rescued from Oklahoma Animal Park with ties to Joe Exotic. So um, there were several members of the Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance working on a rescue recently where I think they rescued, was it six tigers? I think it was six tigers or maybe it was six big cats. But um, I love hearing when groups work together like that. And so it was Turpentine Creek in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and Bobby Brink from Lions, Tigers, and Bear in Out Bears, Alpine, California, and somebody else. Well, I forgot who, but maybe it'll be one of the stories that we're reading here. Uh, in fact, it is Eureka Springs Refuge to assist in a 4,000 mile big cat rescue. So nobody has said where these cats are coming from. And my guess is, given the horrible pictures, and if you go to this one, you'll see what I mean by the horrible conditions where these cats were living, that the place is probably still open. But they got all the cats out of there. So that's good. This is illegal. Fans terrified as Dudazane hangs out with a white lion. Yeah, you can't fix stupid. 
Watch now. Bobcat plays with its baby in a Tucson backyard. I loved this. Oh my goodness. It's a mama bobcat and her baby kitten who is just having a blast in somebody's backyard putt-putt arena. And this was a bobcat sighting in King's Crossing. And then rare white tiger born at Bangladesh National Zoo. Sad for that cat to have to live the rest of its life in captivity. Two bobcats square off in a crazy video from California Wildlife Preserve. Don't like it when they fight. Man finds bobcat and her danger kittens living in his backyard jacuzzi. Lion found trapped in a wire snare that was cutting off his paw. Star performance. Video shows leopards striking poses. Oh, sounds nice. Etowah safari lion who sired many cubs dies. Tiger siblings playing in the wild win over internet. Zookeeper attacked by tiger dies of a heart attack. Ooh, I hadn't heard about that. Roads and rails tracks po roads and rail tracks pose threat to Ranthambore big cats. That's in the Jaipur news. Tiger King bill to protect big cats advanced by the house panel. That was nice for um, Bloomberg government. They used this picture of me that Getty had taken as I was lobbying on the hill with Wayne Paselli, and that's Marty Irby right there behind me. And I think Shelby Bobowski from Texas Humane Legislative Network was with us as well, but she just wasn't in this, that frame. Big Cat Public Safety Act clears key House committee, setting up floor vote and expected landslide passage of the measure. Oh, I love it when they call it right. Oh, mountain lion spotted roaming Monrovia neighborhood. Bobcat spotted large felines make an appearance in Edinburgh. A video of Bobcat kitten crosses a Bay Area trail. And just this morning I saw, or yesterday, I posted it on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Carol Baskin, a really amazing camera trap footage of a bobcat over LA. So the cat's up there in the mountains around LA and you see the city off in the background and it's just wonderful to see that cat living his best life out there. I also have coordinator reports going back to the 12th. Angie Gabor says, Another great Saturday. We got a little wet, but we took care of our beautiful cats. Amanda and Rich started the day off with AM meds and supplements. Feeding was great with Amanda, Bree, Kristen, and Johnny feeding the littles, while little cats, while Rich, Sarah, and I fed the big cats. Quickly after that, Johnny, Bree, and Sarah cleaned all the little cat enclosures. Matt, Rich, Kristen, and Amanda cleaned the big cat enclosures, and double checks were done as a team. After lunch, the crew divided and conquered many things. Sarah single-handedly took care of food prep and took care of the PM chores. Johnny did gift shop chores. Bree worked on cleaning and lubricating all locks that were collected from open enclosures. Kristen and Amanda had their live broadcast today and had some fun showing off our tigers. Rich and I hog ring the first level of Mouser's extension and removed all the hog rings from the bottom panel still standing on the 2x4 enclosure by Lovey. Then the rain came. Thank you to Amanda and Kristen for closing the day with PM meds and finished PM chores. Great day and great smiles. Thank you team for all that you do for the cats. Love these guys. I have June the 13th by Lauren Buckingham who says today was a hot one. Yeah, there's a heat wave moving through, but thank you everyone for powering through to get stuff done. Emma started us off with AM meds while Beth Ann did AM supplements. Feeding and cleaning was done by Susan, Beth Ann, Bonnie, Misty, Ryan, Emma, Jordan, Kat, Vanessa, and Catherine. Emma, Jordan, and our newest intern, Miranda, tackled food prep. Kimba, was, Kimba Tiger was moved home from vacation rotation. Vacation rotation will stay empty while we complete some projects. The interns cleaned out the gift shop gutters and weed eated inside and outside vacation rotation. Beth Ann and Susan knocked out their weekly project assignment, followed by some opera and cat time. Bonnie spent some time helping to build the new platform in vacation rotation early in the afternoon and then did the daily sickle cats and operant conditioning afterwards. Aaron and I spent the afternoon helping Jamie, Victor, Jamie and Victor make more progress on the vacation rotation platform. Susan did supplements while Brittany finished the day with PM meds after taking care of the rehab kids. That's all from me. Thank you everyone for another great Monday. 
I have one from June the 14th from Cat Lightcap who says, It was a horribly hot today, but thank you to everyone who came in and rocked it. And then little guitar emoji. Aaron did AM meds while MJ did AM and in, and the and the in diet supplements. Jenny came in to help with the gift shop to wipe down the tour golf carts, deep clean one of the coolers, and then went to read to some cats. Smaller cats were fed by Susan, Misty, and MJ, with Jordan, Stephanie, and Brittany taking care of the big cats. Vanessa, Catherine, and Ryan joined for cleaning. Lauren mowed and weed whacked the outside of Kali Tiger's open air enclosure. Miranda did food prep, and Susan helped her out after cleaning. Susan and MJ gave all of the cats blood sickles and took care of the daily sickle and enrichment cats. Brittany taught Sarah Dupree about the grooming class. After and before lunch, the interns beautified Rehab Cage 3, mowed and weed-eated the inside of Kali Tiger's open-air cage, placed sand under her platform, scrubbed, weed-eated in vacation rotation, and also placed sand under a platform in there. Cats really love to lay in the sand. MJ and Lauren helped build the new platform in vacation rotation and repair Priya Tiger's enclosure. Susan did PM supplements and Ryan took care of PM meds and the interns wrapped up the day with chores. That's it from me, says Cat Lightcap. Last one is from Afton Tesla from 18 hours ago who says, hot and humid today, but that didn't stop us. Steph came in to feed, otherwise it was just me and the interns. They all took care of cleaning while Miranda and I did food prep. After cleaning, golf cart batteries were taken care of, branches were picked up, and the party house trash and water run was taken care of. After lunch, we all split up. Ryan, Misty, and Miranda took care of the lake project on Duchess Tiger's side. Cat 5 and Miranda also mowed and weed-eated Duchess's cage. Then Cat pulled burp plants and mowed and weed-eated the hallway between the enclosures. Meanwhile, Cat 1, Vanessa, Jordan, and myself took care of the other side of Gilligan, the Canadian Lynx's enclosure. Great day. Thank you for all of the hard work. You can stay up to date with us everywhere on social media. We are Big Cat Rescue. We are there to answer your questions and to interact with people who love big cats and who want to see them living wild where they belong. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see you very, very soon over on social channels, Big Cat Rescue. Mwah!